Or, or let's say, let's play a game. Which apple is better? Better. This, there are so many different kinds of apples. This week, let's try a Braeburn, you know, and next week, let's try uh, an Empire. And so that now you're saying, okay, apples are different. They're not all alike. So let's play that game. Let's go raspberry picking or strawberry picking or blueberry picking. Those are all coming up now. And then seeing what we can do with those raspberries and, and, and strawberries when we come home. We don't have to put sugar on them. But we can slice them, and we can put maybe a little bit of sweet and low on them, and maybe we put a little bit of uh, non-fat whipped cream on them, and that's right. pretty good. Right, because yeah. as I said, I mean, you know, I think that having a treat sometimes is, is you know, that's fine. It's just making sure that our grocery carts are not filled with treats and that we have healthy choices in there. One of the things that I've learned um, through the years is that if you if you go through a grocery store, if you go along the perimeter of the store, don't go down the aisles because the aisles are the ones that are stacked and everything that is as, is at a child's eye level is, is exactly of what's course. wrong for them. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it just shouts to pick me up, pick me up, right. put me in that cart. That's what, what we have to avoid are those... Um, the inner aisles. Well, it's marketing. I mean, they're not. They're not. They're not. They're not dumb. Mar- no, they're not. I mean, you they're know, they're at eye level for a child for a reason because the box I is have? colorful and there's chances are there's probably a toy in the bottom of the box as well. I'll tell you a great game to play, and that's called go to the farmers market. I'll tell you, you cannot beat going to the farmers market because that is a fun activity, and that's something that my daughter and 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 her daddy do every Saturday and um and and they make it a game and I ask them to bring me back the the brightest tomatoes they can find you know absolutely and if you have I mean if you have have the space what about families planting a garden of their own in the backyard that's getting them out there and being active and doing that's they're off the couch if they're out there weeding my uh, my my daughter just found out that she was uh well she has allergies and we took her to the um you know, to have allergy testing done. And so the allergist said, well, you're, Hannah, you're allergic to uh, uh, trees and grass and weeds. And she piped right up because she thought she was going to get out of weeding the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Which, not, not exactly. Exactly. He said, that's not going to get you out of work. But I mean, we we have two gardens at our home and my children, that's part of their their everyday activity is going and working in the garden and tending to those vegetables and weeding and picking and you know it's a science project i mean it, there's a gratification that they have that they started those plants from seed or sometimes from small p- plants depending on but and you know what they're excited to eat it i can go right. i it, it's, mm-hmm. if they know that they they grew they it. grew it i'm telling you i can delete it <laughs> well, it well, makes a big difference well you know the other thing is, is it's a lot of fun to see what can go on a grill and, absolutely and i'm telling you 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 don't know what to do with your zucchini? I know. <laughs> I do. Olive oil and garlic. <laughs> yeah, and you stick that on the grill and the kids will they love, love it, that. Right. And, and and so it's 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 exploring together. It's finding fun together, nutritional fun, you know, and it's and it's not sitting down in front of a movie or a TV and eating a bag of bonbons with your kids, you know. And, and this is just simple Exactly. And it's even from taking, you know, going from the garden outside and getting your kids cooking in the kitchen. Certainly go jump online and find some healthy recipes. There's Mm -hmm. great websites out there that kids, kid friendly um, recipes that they can learn how to make healthy snacks or healthy meals and let the kids get in there and help you cook. You know, and I also I also advocate a little bit of um, magic. And that is sometimes when they're not looking, there's nothing wrong with a little handful of brown turkey into the hamburger. Yep. (laughs) You know, it's just a little way of cutting down the fat. And if you mix it with a regular hamburger, just a ground turkey, they're not going to know the difference. No, they absolutely don't. And we're all going to be better off for it. You know, those are just the little tips that I use. And, um, you know, I think that, that if we realize that it's about our kids' health down the long road, you know, um, throw me out a fact, Sue. Give me, give me something that makes me go, wow. I mean, you know, I'm sure you're, you're giving kids injections for diabetes. I mean, that's one of the things that you do. 
Well, I, I can certainly attest. I've spent a lot of time um, with Dr. Richard Carmona, who was the um, 17th Surgeon General of the United States. Oh. And I know that one of the things that um, him and I, our dialogue has often been about is that um, obesity and other chronic diseases are causing children to have shorter life spans than ever before so these kids are not living so if a child you know becomes obese as a child chances are they are not going to live you know the full you know amount of years that they that they could have if they were if they stayed healthy and you know of normal and, and you're talking adulthood not living a longer exactly adulthood. exactly they there's statistics now that they're predicting that Right now, the way that chronic disease is in the rise in children, that um, this uh, population of children is, for the first time, going to have a shorter lifespan than our, than adults do. One thing I think that parents can do um, very easily, just to kind of get a little uh, gauge on, on where their kids could be weight-wise, is it, isn't it usually their age? And their size kind of go together. So if, yes. if you have a six-year-old, that six-year-old should be wearing a size six. If you have a 12-year-old, the 12-year-old should be wearing a size 12. Well, I think... I mean, I don't know. I well, just... no. I mean, I think that today I I would be a little bit nervous to kind of throw out that mm-hmm. standard okay. just because so many different... Um, body shapes and body, Well, besides body shapes, but also um, clothing distributors of oh, size sure. six. I mean... There are certain places that I'm a size six, and there's certain places I'm not a size six. <laughs> and when I go oh, shopping, quit your bragging, exactly. <laughs> and I, I tend to just focus on the store that I'm a size six at. <laughs> so, and I think, unfortunately, it's the same thing for kids as well. So, my daughter can be one size in one store, and she can be another size in another it's store. It's funny how they all like to be the right size at limited two and Ex- every spot. Exactly. And all the expensive uh, yeah, clothes. Exactly. Stores and and yes, and I do think that they intentionally. <laughs> do that but, so yes you know it's, it's great to lend, uh, to end our day on laughter uh chronic uh obesity is a serious problem among children but um there are very simple ways of just getting out there and getting your kids out there and active i want to leave you today with a website it's www.walknewhampshire.org that's walk nh.org. It's a great way to encourage your kids to walk the entire state of New Hampshire. Final and, words? And Lisa, actually, if I could just throw in the council's website as sure. well, Absolutely. which is www.ccachc.org. Um, obviously, you can Google the Council for Children and Adolescents with chronic health conditions as well, which I know is still a mouthful. (laughs) It is a mouthful. And definitely stay active and be involved with your children is the biggest thing that we can get out there to everybody today. Sue Averd, Denise Brewitt, thank you so much for joining us today on Your Health Matters, and thank you for listening. Have a great day. Thank you. you.